Hey y'all, this dish calls for turkey, either breast or drumstick. But we know that it can sometimes be hard to find turkey. Don't worry, you can substitute a split chicken, chicken breast if you need to. It's always nice to vary your protein source, and so often when people eat poultry, we eat chicken, which is why we'd much prefer turkey in this dish. But what might be ideal and what you can find in reality in your store may be different things. And we don't want you to stress out about not being able to find every ingredient exactly as written. Our main goal here at Paleo U is for you to gain confidence in the kitchen. And part of that means being able to swap out ingredients if needed. Enough of that. Who's ready to get cooking? Heat the oven to 425 and line two baking sheets in foil. Place the turkey on one foil lined sheet and loosen the skin from the flesh. Pour a little avocado oil under the skin and add a pinch of salt. Use your fingers to spread the oil and salt around over the flesh. Then add a little more oil and a pinch of salt and, and pepper and poultry seasoning to the skin. Use your fingers again to spread everything out on the skin. Place the turkey in the oven and roast for 30 to 50 minutes or until the meat is fully cooked through. It will be white all the way through. The juices will run clear and the thermometer will read right around 160 to 165. The amount of time that it takes the turkey to cook will depend on the size of the meat that you're using. Remove it from the oven and cover with foil. Let the turkey rest for 10 minutes. When it has about 25 minutes left to cook though, spread the veggies out on the other foil lined sheet. Drizzle with oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place the veggies in the oven and cook for 30 minutes or until roasted to your liking. Once the veggies and turkey are done cooking, Cut the turkey breast into pieces and place some on a plate. If you're using drumsticks, place one on a plate. Then add some of the roasted veggies and eat up.